today's video i hope you all are having a great day so far if you are new here welcome i make videos on beauty fashion and lifestyle so before you ask me what i am wearing on my lips it's uh, the sugar uh, matte attack transfer proof uh, matte lipstick in the shade the peach boys and the shade is amazing it's such a pretty rusty orange nude shade i think this will be looking really good on every skin tones out there anyways i purchased this lipstick and i also tried another one from this range sugar doesn't send me any pr package guys so from the title you already know that today's video is all about my yearly favorites so 2019 is uh, coming to its end and this is the time of the year which everyone just celebrate the most and I also do so it's one of the best a uh, part of the year which I think and I always uh, try to make contents uh, for my YouTube channel uh, at the end of the year uh, comprising of all the favorite things uh, that I enjoyed throughout the whole year so I have already done my favorite lipsticks of 2019 and it's already up on my channel if you haven't watched it you can watch it over here I'm gonna link it in a card and you can just click on that card and you will be taken directly to that video so today's video guys I'm gonna talk about all the base makeup products the eye makeup products that I have enjoyed a lot throughout 2019 and these are turned out to be really my favorites guys i need to talk and provide you information as much as i can about each and every product so that you can make out your mind and buy that particular one otherwise you won't be knowing about the product hence i need to make my video a little bit long so this video is going to be a long one as i'm going to talk about a lot of products foundation concealer uh, setting powder eye products and a lot more so just grab a snack and enjoy this video i hope you're gonna like it but before going to that make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit on the small little bell next to the red subscribe button so that you may get updates whenever i upload a new one so without any further ado let's get started so guys as i have mentioned i'm gonna talk about the base makeup products at first so coming to the primer my favorite primer of 2019 has to be this one this is the pack pore primer and i can't recommend you enough because of the texture because of the goodness that this primer does for your skin before doing your makeup so this is basically a pore minimizing primer and most of the pore minimizing primers have got the tendency of making your skin overly matte which doesn't look that much flattering so i just want to have a very good pore minimizing primer which will fill in my pores on the other hand it will help in making my skin look really supple and hydrated and this primer does that it mattifies my skin but it doesn't make my skin look dry or dehydrated you know what i'm saying this primer really adds such a nice softness and smoothness to my face helps in making my makeup last throughout the whole day and the best thing about this primer is that guys this smells so good it has got such a nice a fresh girly smell i absolutely love it while applying this primer i actually just a feel the smell i have tried a bunch of new primers but out of all these i just would recommend you guys to try this one so being a content creator i just need to test a lot of makeup products to create content on my channel and for this reason i have tried a bunch of new foundations throughout 2019 and some of these turned out to be really my favorite so i have got these three with me which i think you won't be disappointed at all if you try any of this three so coming to the first foundation which is i think the best foundation that i have used till date i have also mentioned it in my uh, yearly favorites 2018 video is uh, this one this is the milani conceal and perfect tween one foundation plus concealer in the shade 06 sand beige the only problem about uh, this foundation is of the availability of the shades maybe milani needs to bring a lot more shades in india to cater to all indian skin tones so the one thing that i can say about this foundation guys uh, this foundation is even better and works best than the mac studio fix preed this just filters my face it works so nicely on my skin provides me the highest coverage ever and it just fill in my pores and makes my skin so smooth and 
I can't make out that I have pores on my face. I do have pores issues and it helps in blurring those out which I think is a really great stuff guys. I like the undertone of this shade. I have worn this on my wearing day mixing with the MAC Studio Fix Read and I just want you guys to try this one. Try it and then come to this video and comment down below whether you liked it or not. This has to be my favorite and I just love it to bits. So I don't wear foundation on a regular basis but on the days when I need to put full face of makeup I just wear by uh, this foundation throughout the whole year. Yes, this is also a really affordable drugstore foundation which you can definitely try but the only problem is that Maybelline is not cruelty free. I just want Maybelline to be cruelty free guys. So this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in the shade 310 Sun Beige. Since the Milani one is basically suitable for parties or occasions as it's on the expensive side so i keep it for the days when i am wearing a really glamorous makeup for the parties occasions i wear it on that day this is having such a nice coverage and the finish it gives is matte but not like the mattest matte finish so this will not accentuate your dry patches it will not make your skin look really cakey or something like that and this is really long lasting guys this has lasted on me even more than 14 to 16 hours i really like it if you want to try a really good foundation in an affordable range which is of a really good quality and will just provide you the benefits of using a foundation provides you enough coverage provides you that sort of nice semi matte finish will be lasting you for the whole day i think you can definitely try this one also i just like to mention that it's also difficult to get your perfect shade but just research a little bit there is a website called www.foundation.com where you can provide your own shade and you will get your perfect match so you just need to do a little bit of research to get your perfect shade so coming to the next foundation is this one this is not a foundation mm, this is the sugar goddess of flawless spf 30 plus bb cream it has got a very nice moussey soft uh, texture which is more like a souffle this has provided me enough coverage for my everyday makeup look guys although it's a bb cream it's on the expensive side being a bb cream so that's the only downside of this product but for an everyday look if you're just going to college if you're just going to office if you want that coverage to just cover up your spots or dark circles that you have on your face then you just need those even out skin you can definitely try this bb cream guys it's worth the buy i got the shade chococino and i absolutely love it and it's almost over just a little bit is left i'm gonna repurchase it soon so these are all my favorite foundations as i have mentioned now i'm gonna talk about my favorite concealers so i have got two of them so these are the two concealers which i have used the most throughout 2019 and the first has to be the pack spotlight ready concealer in the shade 07 nutcracker so the pack spotlight ready concealer is i think the best concealers which is available in the indian market guys even i like it more than my maybelline age rewind concealer because of the coverage of the finish and everything this just makes me look so flawless so that's the reason i really love it it's really long lasting guys even if you sweat it will not crease if you just splash water on your face this will not move so it's superb long lasting the coverage is so good it's a highly pigmented the only downside of this concealer is that don't put too much of this otherwise it will be turning into a cakey one really easily as it is saturated with pigments i just love this concealer this shade is the highlighting shade for my skin tone because the only reason is that I bought it online so I couldn't get my perfect match. The shade Teen Mocha will be a perfect match for me. So the shade 07 Nutcracker is actually my highlighting concealer and I just love it to beats. So the next concealer which I'm going to talk about is the one which I have used I think in the last two to three months and i fell in love with this product this is the nyx hd studio photogenic concealer in the shade fresh beige so 
this shade actually matches uh, with my skin tone really well and I just love this concealer because it provides me enough coverage, provides me such a nice soft finish under my eyes for my everyday makeup look. So all the days when I'm not wearing any foundation, when I'm not wearing any sort of BB cream, I put this concealer under my eyes on the spots that I am having on my face and on my mouth and on my nose and this blends so well guys it has got a really nice uh, smooth texture you won't be just tugging or pulling your skin while blending this concealer and the finish this concealer gives is a very nice dewy soft finish it's not a complete matte concealer because i don't want that sort of harsh matte concealer under my eyes so i prefer to use something really soft and very hydrating under my eyes and this concealer does that and the shade fresh beige is having a very nice yellow undertone which matches with the rich yellow undertone that I am having so highly recommended guys so coming to my favorite setting powder slash compact of 2019 I have got two of them which I just want you guys to definitely try and the first one is my holy grail setting powder and this is the Maybelline fit me finishing loose powder in the shade 20 light medium it's worth every penny you invest in this product it's in an affordable range and I think the quantity you are getting is so good this just filters your face guys it makes your makeup look so flawless just smoothens your face it is not at all cakey on your face gonna last on you throughout the whole day and i just can't recommend you enough because i love the maybelline fit me finishing loose powder the most this is my second tab that i am using and i think you just need to try this if you are searching for a really good setting powder in an affordable range which will be definitely working for you you can even bake your face with it or even you can just uh, set your overall makeup with it try this one and guys and i'm sure you're gonna just fall in love with this product so my favorite compact of 2019 has to be this one and this is the Elena wet and dry powder foundation in the shade warm beige and i got it in i think glamigo box and ever since i got it i am using this product guys it's on the expensive side this one retails for rupees 995 and i think it's worth every penny you invest in this product because this is what is called a powder foundation so you can use this on its own to even out your face and this will provide you such a nice soft matte finish on your face. You can use it in both ways. You can use it in a dry form or even just wetting your sponge. You can use it. So I basically use it as a compact to set my um, overall face with it on an everyday basis and this has worked on me so well guys. I really like it. I don't know why people don't talk about this brand but I have tried some products from Elena Cosmetics. So those have really really worked well for me. So highly recommended if you can get your hands on this a wet and dry uh, powder foundation slash compact from Elena. Definitely try it and you're just gonna thank me a lot. So these are basically uh, the compact foundation and concealer and I'm going to talk about bronzers, a blush and highlighters. So coming to the contouring stuffs or bronzing stuffs which I have really loved the most in 2019 are these two. So I think this one is loved by all. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. This is how it looks like. It comes with this highlighting banana shade and this is the contouring shade so i basically use the contouring shade to contour my face since i have got chubby cheeks i just need to contour or bronze up my face to add a little bit of definition to my face and i absolutely love this contouring kit guys first of all this is really affordable this one retails for rupees 499 but i think you can get it at a lot more discounted price uh this is how the contouring shade looks like I don't know whether my camera is picking up or not uh, this is how the contouring shade looks like it's basically a cool toned brown it doesn't have any sort of reddish tint in it which makes it really great stuff to suit indian skin tone so we want something on the cooler side so that it will create automatically natural shadows on your face so if you want to get a really good contour shade 
just look at the undertone of that product whether it's having more like a reddish hue in it or having more like a grayish hue in it or not just get the one which is having more like a gray undertone that will be really working well on you and um, this blends seamlessly onto my skin it doesn't look patchy on my skin i don't have to struggle a lot in blending this out and for an everyday look i think almost every single day i have used this product and i just really like it and coming to the next one which i I think this is my holy grail contouring product and ever since I started my channel, before I started my channel, you guys uh, know that I absolutely love this product and I can't recommend you enough. This is a sugar contour the force mini bronzer in the shade top topper or top topper whatever I'm butchering the word maybe. So this is what is called a true contouring shade for Indian skin tones. It's a perfect cool tone brown with a little bit of warmth in it having really nice grey undertone and this will help in creating such great natural shadows under your cheekbones, on your jawline, on the nose, on the areas where you just need those artificial shadows you can actually create with this i just absolutely love it guys this mini one reduced for rupees 399 you can also even try the palette sugar contour the force in the shade subtle summit that that also comes with this contouring a shade that is the contouring shade of top topper is available in the palette uh, subtle summit as well so highly recommended just try any of this contouring product which i have recommended and i think you are definitely gonna like it this too turned out to be really my absolute favorites of 2019 i have used i think five to six blushes throughout the whole year but these two turned out to be my really favorite and the first one is again from maybelline and i think maybelline fit me range is one of the best ranges that she has in her collection this is the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade 50 wine and no matter what skin tone you are, if you belong to fair skin category, medium skin category, dark to deep or dusky, whitish, whatever, this blush is just gonna suit on you. Looks amazing on Indian skin tones and it has got a little bit of shimmer in it which is hardly visible which actually makes your cheeks look really glowy from within. So let me just swatch it for you so this is how the blush looks like i just absolutely love this product ever since i got it guys it's such a pretty dusty warm rose shade with a little bit of wine in it having mauve undertone and this is just gonna show up on every skin tone i know a lot of you guys actually struggle with uh, just getting perfect blush which matches with the skin tone which will actually show up on your skin tone and I think Maybelline Fit Me blush is the best for you. Coming to the next blush is from Color Bar and, and you guys are familiar with this blush as well. It's the uh, Color Bar Matte Illusion blush in the shade Veiled Marla. It's a very pretty peach blush with a little bit of brown undertone in it. This looks so good on me. So if you belong to fair to medium to British skin tones, this blush will be working really well for you. It's a very pretty warm peach shade and let me just swatch it over here. So this is how the blush looks like and it really goes with a lot of your makeup looks and a lot of your lip shades. So if you want to try a really good peach blush from Color Bar, definitely give, give this a shot and the quality is so good guys. It's really soft. It has got a smooth buttery texture and you won't be able to feel that you have a lot of product on your uh, cheeks. This feels so lightweight on your cheeks and easily blendable. It's also highly recommended. So now I'm going to talk about my favorite highlighters of 2019. I have two of them. I can't select only one because I just love these two products the most. The first one has to be my favorite a Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. And if you have watched my previous videos, if you have watched a lot of my makeup tutorials, you know how much I love this product. So this is how Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold 
looks like and it's a very pretty champagne shade having rose gold undertone more like a peachy undertone which will be really suiting a lot of indian skin tones but if you belong to very deep to dark skin tone you can try the shade molten gold and that one will be working really well and i just love the formula of these highlighters guys these are so good you can actually see how blinding this highlighter is not at all chunky guys it has got such a nice wet texture and as soon as you touch just touch it it turns into a powdery one molten rose gold has to be my favorite of 2019 coming to my next favorite highlighter is is another gem of wet and wild and it's the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade precious petals i know this product is loved by all and i also do love it to be so let me just swatch it for you So this is how Precious Petals of Wet n Wild looks like. So you can make out that the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade a Molten Rose Gold is having a little bit of rose gold on a tone whereas the Wet n Wild Precious Petals is having such a nice a golden hue to it. It's basically a champagne highlighter with hints of peach in it having golden undertone. So this is just going to look absolutely gorgeous on every Indian skin tones if you belong to fair, medium, dusky skin category you can just uh, try this product and if you belong to very deep or a dark skin tone you can try something more on the golden side throughout 2019 i have used this product a lot and i think you will be not at all disappointed if you buy this one and so before uh, just going to the eye products i just like to talk about the eye prop stuffs which i have used the most in the past one year and i just need to talk about these three eyebrow products the first eyebrow product which i have used the most is uh, this one this is the nika take a brow eyebrow filler powder so it's basically an eyebrow filling powder which has got this sort of spongy applicator and with this product you can actually just fill in your brows so if you are in a hurry and if you want to do your brows within minutes then you this product will definitely help you out so what i do is that i basically just outline my brow using an eyebrow defining pencil or a micro fine pencil then i just fill in my whole eyebrow using this product this is so pigmented guys so you can see this is the pigmentation of the eyebrow filling powder it's intensely pigmented so make sure that you apply in re really less amount on your brows when you are using this product this has made my eyebrow look really bold and i can do my brows really fast with the help of this product so i recommend you guys to try this one as well another eyebrow stuff which i have used is my recent discovery but ever since i got it i am using it on a regular basis is uh, this one this is the faces canada time pro brow defining pencil and this is probably in the shade brown or dark brown i don't know because i can't find uh, the shade name anywhere in the packaging or the outer packaging but on their website it was mentioned brown slash dark brown so this is how the eyebrow pencil looks like it comes with a spoolie as well which is really useful and the eyebrow product is amazing guys if you want if you're just searching for a really good affordable eyebrow pencil which will serve your purpose on the other hand will stay on your brows for the longest time then you can definitely give this one a shot so let me just swatch it for you so this is the shade of the faces canada Altime pro brow pencil and you can see this is having uh, the exact uh, texture that an eyebrow pencil needs to have so it's neither too creamy nor too waxy it glides on my brows really well and as soon as it sets this will not budge at all so this is really long lasting so another product which i just need to mention you guys is this one this is the europe girl paris uh, 3d sculpt eyebrow kit so this is basically an eyebrow kit in which you are getting three eyebrow powders it doesn't come with any sort of eyebrow wax but these are really pigmented guys let me just swatch it 
so this is the swatch and you can see these are so pigmented i just absolutely love this brow product because of the pigmentation and it makes my brows look really bold and with this product you don't need any other eyebrow defining pencil uh, to just outline your brows you only need uh, just a single eyebrow brush this also comes with a brush which looks something like this and this also comes with the brush on one end and the spoolie on the other and this brush is really helpful guys with this brush you can do your eyebrows within minutes basically use this ash brown uh, shade which is at the middle and outline my brow and then fill it in using this product only and this is really affordable guys i have used this a lot and if you are searching for a really affordable eyebrow kit which comes with a brush which is really handy dandy which you can put in your purse and travel with it i think this one is really worth it you can definitely give this one a shot as well so whenever we are talking about eye makeup products the first thing that come to our mind is eyeshadow palette so I have tried a number of eyeshadow palettes throughout the past one year and it's very much difficult for me uh, to make out which one is my absolute favorite. I try to cut down into four palettes. So I know four favorites are a lot more but I need to talk about these because these worked so well for me and these need to try. Coming to my first favorite eyeshadow palette of 2019 is a really inexpensive palette and this is the Swiss Beauty Ultimate Shadow Palette in number 04. I know you guys are wondering that how could I love this inexpensive palette. So the quality is what only matters guys. The price point is not everything. You can get a something really gorgeous, something of a really good quality in a really affordable price. And I think for this reason, I really love this product. It's worth 190 rupees even. During the sale time, you can get it for rupees 160, 150, even less than that. And if you just purchase it from any local store, then you will be paying around 130 to 140 rupees. It's the most affordable palette that I have in my collection. And I just want you guys to try this palette. It has got all the warm tones that you need for your everyday makeup look, for creating your party makeup look for just occasions it's the dupe of the huda beauty warm obsessions palette the shades actually looks the same and the quality is really good guys these are saturated with pigments intensely pigmented let me just swatch it for you so look at this absolutely love the color scheme of this palette and i think almost every single day I just have used some or the other shades from this palette. These are easily blendable and I haven't noticed that severe fallouts even with this palette which I have noticed with my Beauty Glaze palette. So I think the quality is so good and they have provided us such a nice affordable price range for which I'm giving Swiss Beauty a big 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 thumbs up. Definitely try this palette guys and if you guys have tried this one you already know that this is of a really good quality which you definitely need to try in your life so coming to my next uh, favorite eyeshadow palette is another one uh, another warm tone palette and this is from pack i really love pack palettes they have got really good quality eyeshadows but they are just hiking their price so much that it's very much difficult for everyone to grab something which people are just raving about or something of a really good quality this one is the pack 9 colors matte eyeshadow palette which has got all these beautiful warm tone shades before i got the swiss beauty one i always used to use this palette because this one worked so well for me so this is how the pack 9 colors matte eyeshadow palette looks like and you can see it has got all matte shades it has got this gorgeous black which is so useful warm toned uh, browns i uh, want to two beige shades with, with which you can actually highlight your brow bone it has got this gorgeous peppy red shade which adds such a nice summery vibe to your look so let me just swatch some of the shades for you 
So this is a pigmentation of uh, this eyeshadow palette and you can see this is also really pigmented. It also blends really well onto my eyes but I really don't understand the price point of this range. Why pack has provided 1395 rupees for this small palette. Pack is an Indian brand. I really love her products but this is a really highly priced so both of these I have used and this is also one of my favorites that I have used throughout the whole past one year. So now I'm going to talk about one colorful palette which you guys are familiar with because I have used it in a number of my makeup tutorial and this is a the Beauty Glaze a Color Studio Palette. So I know if you guys have this palette, you don't need any other palettes in your life. Look at the color scheme. It's just looking like a rainbow in my beauty room. I absolutely love this palette. It has got such stunning shades. Warm tone browns over here. It has got different shades of pinks, purples, greens, blue, a stunning yellow, which I really love. A white shade, which I have used um, in my uh, Halloween makeup look. A really jet black over here, which you can use in a number of ways. These are so pigmented, guys. Uh, let me just swatch some of the shades. you can see the pigmentation these are so pigmented so the black is also stunning guys i really love this palette this just picks up so much pigments when you touch it with the help of a brush so make sure you do your eye makeup at first because this palette has got fallouts so that's the only thing which i just need to say about the beauty glaze palette but Look at the price point. These are so affordable and you are getting so many shades in a single palette in such an affordable range. So I think this palette has really worked for me. Hence, I'm sharing my thoughts with you. So coming to the next eyeshadow palette is also another favorite of mine. So guys, this palette I haven't used throughout the whole year. I tried it, I think, a couple of weeks back. But ever since I tried this one, I fell in love with this product so I need to just share my thoughts about it in my favorites video because this has turned out to be really my favorite eyeshadow palette and this is, this is the LA Girl Hot Heat eyeshadow palette in the shade Aloha Vibes and look at this. So ever since I got it guys I am just in love with this eyeshadow palette it has got such great shades with which you can create so many eye looks and the best thing is that the shades the shimmery sparkling shades that you get in this palette is out of this world let me just swatch some of the shades for you so look at the shade guys these are so stunning and, and this silvery shade is having duochrome effect so i have already used this shade in one of the videos which i'm gonna link it over here you can watch that video this is a little bit on the expensive side this one retails for rupees 1850 but i got it at a really good discounted price uh, from hawk makeup this blends so seamlessly uh, the color payoff is so good intensely pigmented and this has even lasted on me throughout the whole day, the day when I wore it. So I have enjoyed this palette a lot. So I need to talk about this palette. So I have tried a number of kajals throughout the whole year and this two turned out to be really my favorites. So coming to the first kajal slash eye pencil of 2019 of mine is this one. This is the Swiss Beauty Intense Gel Kajal in the shade green. The black one I have used I think two or three pencils of the black one and I have already finished up the one and this much is left the black one so I just thought of sharing the green one with you and this is one of the best gel pencils which are available in the market so let me just watch it for you so look at the pigmentation guys this is how the Swiss Beauty Intense Gel Kajal in the shade green looks like let me just show you the black as well. So this is how Swiss Beauty in the shade, in this gel kajal in the shade black looks like. So you can see these are so pigmented. You don't need to tug or pull your eyes. These apply so smoothly on your waterline, even on your lash line. And these just are completely smudge proof, waterproof. It won't budge. 
this is just gonna last on you throughout the whole day and you will be not complaining about this pencil because this is of a really good quality guys a lot of color options are available and if you can get your hands on swiss beauty intense gel kajal definitely try it guys and you are surely gonna fell in love with it so my next favorite eye pencil is none other than the sugar heavy duty coal in the shade back to black so another gorgeous gel pencil is oh, this is a perfect pencil which may be called a gel pencil so let me just swatch it so look at this this is the uh, sugar heavy duty coal in the shade back to black this one is the swiss beauty intense gel kajal in the shade black and this one is the swiss beauty intense gel kajal in the shade green sugar one is equally good it's almost same like the uh, swiss beauty one it's but it's it has got a little bit higher pricing this one retails for rupees 499 whereas the swiss beauty one is so affordable this one only retails for rupees 249 so this is not gonna budge or smudge on your eyelids even if you have really watery eyes or oily eyelids this will this is just gonna last on you throughout the whole day these two are my absolute favorites of 2019 so i have talked a lot about eye pencils now it's time to talk about eyeliner and the one single eyeliner which i would recommend you guys to try is this one i have tried uh, a bunch of new eyeliners throughout the whole year but I can't just stop using it and this has to be in number one in my eyeliners list uh, because this is worth every penny you invest in this product as well. So this is the sugar I won't use so double matte eyeliner in the shade black swan. Let me just swatch it for you. So this is how the swatch looks like. So from the swatch guys you can make out that this is the blackest black eyeliner that a person can have. Jet black liner it's completely 200% matte. I just want my liners to be matte and this lasts on me throughout the whole day. I really like it. It doesn't cause me any sort of irritation on my eyes looks so good in pictures and when you want that sort of bold black winged eyeliner you just need to have this and the applicator it comes with is equally good guys you can see this is how the felt tip applicator looks like and this actually helps in creating very small thin liner as well as you can actually make a very fat wing eyeliner with the help of this applicator as well so i just can't recommend you enough this is the best eyeliner that you can get in budget i know it is a slightly on the expensive side it will be 699 for one single liner is quite expensive but i think if you want to try a really good matte eyeliner definitely try the sugar one and i have got two favorite mascara for this year and these are these two mascaras the first one is the l'oreal lash paradise mascara this is so good guys it helps in just lifting your lashes so well and your lashes look so voluminous and i absolutely love it i basically love it because of the applicator it comes with you can see this is how how the uh, applicator looks like i really like it when i curl my lashes and apply this mascara it holds onto those curls really well makes my lashes look really voluminous and i can't recommend you enough because this is a really good mascara my second favorite mascara of 2019 is this one and i have talked about this mascara a lot on my channel and it's the maybelline total temptation mascara in the variant waterproof so i have also got uh, the washable variant uh, that is this one and this is the waterproof one I, I will recommend you guys to try the waterproof one because this actually holds onto the curls more than this one does so if you're just curling your lashes the lift on your lashes will be holding a lot more time if you use this mascara it's a really good mascara which helps in separating your lashes it's a really nice lift to your lashes as well it doesn't add that much over volume on your lashes because most of the volumizing mascaras actually create clumps and with this mascara you won't be having any sort of clumps in your lashes which i really like because it contains coconut extract in it and this smells so good guys 
this mascara smells so good if you are just searching for really good mascara other than my Maybelline lash sensational one which I have used religiously throughout 2018 I think you can give these a shot so here comes the end of the video guys these are all my makeup favorites of 2019 and these are the base and the eye makeup products which I have enjoyed throughout all 2019 and I just absolutely love it. Hence, I have recommended this to you. All these are basically in an affordable range. None of these are from high-end ranges. So as I have mentioned guys, today I haven't shown you any of my lipstick favorites because already I have done a dedicated video comprising of all my favorite 2019 lipsticks which I think I probably you have seen. So if I had included all my favorite lipsticks in this video, then this video would be going to be a million years long. So I hope that this video has helped you a lot and if it did then please hit on the like button guys and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I just need your love and support. All your subscriptions make me so happy guys. I just need your love and support to just keep myself going. So please do subscribe and share this video with your friends and family on WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram or any other social platform you want and all my social handles will be mentioned in the description box uh, below. So please do check that out and follow me over there as well so we'll see you soon in my next video guys till then just take care of yourself be happy stay healthy bye guys